Tipped up, it was a chance, full advantage, and go clear at the top of the table. Stephen Alkin was there. Second from top against second from bottom, but the gulf couldn't be greater as Rovers looked to extend their impressive title credentials. They were denied here by Mick Daly's block on Gary Twig. Drogheda United hardly figured in the first half. Their first goal attempt created by the former UCD player Pete McMahon. Paul Crowley's looping header hardly troubling Alan Manis in the Rovers goal. Maybe it was the warm weather, but the pace of the game was dreamlike early on. Best chance for the hoops created by James Chambers and Stephen Bradley. Gary Twigg's radar just a little off. Chambers was getting forward from right back to good effect and his dangerous cross was cleared by Corey Tracy. From the corner, Aidan Price header flashed past the far post. Rovers getting closer. The game improved in the second half. Paddy Kavanagh's shot singed the fingers of former Rovers keeper Robert Duggan. Rovers definitely injected extra pace and the cross coming up here by Chambers picked out Billy Dennehy he almost put Michael O'Neill's side in front United were more involved as the game lifted to a better level John Flood got behind the Rovers cover but Manus made an easy save then Bradley's mistake gave Connor Sinnott the chance this time, the Rovers keeper stretched to his limit to keep out the former St. Pat's player. But that was as good as it got for Drogheda. Dennehy and Thomas Stewart combined well. And the man from Tralee County Kerry set up Gary Twig for his 10th league goal of the season. Cue delirium in the hoop section. The accolades going to Dennehy for his part in the goal. But madness in Drogheda ranks as Crowley and Owen Osborne squared up. Osborne didn't want to continue. He and Crowley were both booked by Anthony Buttimer. With all this going on, it was little wonder that Rovers scored again two minutes later. Dennehy was again involved as he slotted home the insurance goal. Shamrock Rovers' 16-year wait for title success perhaps coming to an end. Young substitute Darren McNamara almost gave United hope but after rounding Manus, he was denied by Price. There was still time for Robert Bailey to get sent off. His first yellow card for this foul on McNamara. Harsh card, really. And then just two minutes later, this rash challenge would lead to his dismissal after the referee correctly gave United the advantage. Nothing came of the resulting move. But eventually, Bailey had to go and Rovers were left to play out the final eight minutes with just ten men. Rovers played out time quite easily. They're now unbeaten in 13 games in a match where a draw to United were quite capable of beating themselves. Final score, United Park, draw to nil. Rovers 2. Overall, the performance was, was OK. Ten minutes of madness and, you know, teams like that will, will punish you big time, you know. I thought we had played quite well in the first half. We maybe didn't create as much as what we would have liked given the possession that we had, but we passed the ball well. Second half we started well. We increased the tempo a wee bit more. Um, looked as if it wasn't going to come, but... Uh, you're always, you know, always keep when you have the players that we have, you know, Billy and Wade there, and, and and Twiggy and Tommy up front. You're, you know, um, you're always hopeful that they'll take a chance, and uh, 